What's going on, people? I want to speak briefly on this earthquake, a back-to-back -back earthquake in California. Now, I find this to be quite interesting because more than several years ago, I read articles where they're predicting a volcano eruption in California that's going to cause a whole lot of lives and a whole lot of damage. So there's people now that is not that in tune to the dangers that's surrounding them and their actions. So a major earthquake is due to come. Maybe an eight point plus earthquake will trigger a, mo a, a major volcano eruption. Now, some people that's not aware of that may look at that as being crazy. Now, I commented on a news site and I had that type of reaction. People that lived in California was questioning what volcano? You're crazy, and they started making jokes about it. When it happens, I hope those people think back on them making mockery of that. Now, side note, now that California experienced an aftershock after a 7.1 magnitude earthquake, it's interesting now that the orange, racist, illegitimate president that they've been criticizing, the big float of Trump allegedly sitting on a toilet and they making mockery. And let's not forget California wanted to become independent from the United States. Now these same people are going to have to go to this orange, racist, illegitimate president for help. I find that quite interesting. You never burn bridges that you cross over because you never know when you're going to have to cross over again. Now, I'm not going to read this article. Just a small portion. It says California braced for more after shocks after 7.1 magnitude earthquake. Powerful tremors strike 125 miles north of Los Angeles. Communities already assessing damage from the 4 July quake. Now, I'm not gonna read this. I'm gonna put the link to this article on the bottom. You guys can read it and check it out for yourself. But when it comes to that potential volcanic reaction or eruption, keep in mind that there's multiple volcanoes that's in the vicinity of California. All it takes is one powerful quake to cause an eruption of that tornado. You don't believe me? Here's an example. Yellowstone Volcano. Will another California earthquake trigger a Yellowstone eruption? Now, even in 2019, there are some that's questioning whether or not another California earthquake, the big one that's, that, that they're expecting or they're looking for, will another California earthquake trigger a Yellowstone eruption? Now, this is not the major earthquake. There's another one that they're concerned about, that they're not talking about. Now, it's easy for scientists and people that, that study this to make predictions. And then they realize or find out that their predictions were wrong. They're human. Humans error, make mistakes. So just because they say, oh, we're not expecting it for another thousand years, don't mean that it can't come now. 
right? Because in the past, they've said everything was going to be okay, and then disaster followed it. As a matter of fact, in the Bible, there's a verse that says, when they say peace and safety, then comes sudden destruction. So humans are very limited to knowledge. So like this headline says, Yellowstone volcano will another California earthquake trigger a Yellowstone eruption. And then it says Yellowstone volcano has the potential to produce cataclysmic destruction across the United States. That's what I read more than several years ago. And they're mentioning now in 2019, for those of you who, who have never heard of this, and this is your first time hearing about this. And it's not gonna cause destruction just in California itself, but it sends out a chain reaction across the United States of America. But people are too busy fighting political wars, red against the blues, like the Bloods and the Crips, Democrats and Republicans. You're fighting so much against the system that you're ignoring the dangers that's lurking about. While you're receiving all of these laws of transgenderism, homosexuality, feminism, what have you, things that are an abomination before the Most High, you're ignoring while you're paying or focusing attention on political issues and political figures, you forget about the judgment of God, even those that claim that God don't exist or you don't believe in God. You don't have to believe in God for God not to exist. There's people that don't believe that I don't exist because they don't know me. And so there are so many so-called American citizens that don't know God. They're growing up in a society that don't believe in God, that think opposing views than what's taught in the Bible, in books that were written before we were born. But yet everyone has the answers and will later find out that they are wrong. That's why even in the Bible it talks about the two roads. One is one is one is was wide and everybody goes in and it leads to destruction. And then there's the straight and narrow way. The hard way where very few enter in. So right now everyone is following that that wide road that everybody enters in because it's easy. You're pacified, you're given the things that you desire, that you lust after, that you crave. And don't realize that you're sitting on your own destruction. Destruction lurks about. No one expected these volcanoes or these earthquakes to come. Just like no one is really, except for a few, is expecting for that major earthquake to come that will trigger the volcanic reaction. They're watching maybe one or two volcanoes, but there's other volcanoes too that surround California that's expected to erupt. That had not erupted in over 3,000 years or 300,000 years. So, as this article says, Yellowstone volcano has the potential to produce cataclysmic destruction across the United States. So could another California earthquake trigger an eruption at Yellowstone? They're targeting one. Just This is just one volcanic that they're referring to, but there's a major volcano that they had not mentioned that had been predicted years ago that the right earthquake will trigger that and create destruction across the United States. So it's just not California that is threatened by this, but it's across the United States. So California was hit with two major earthquakes within the matter of a couple of days. 
Who's to say another one does not follow? They're still getting tremors. And I'm surprised that because of the fact that it didn't happen directly within LA, it happened like maybe outskirts outside of LA, they didn't get that much damage. But who's to say where the next earthquake will strike? So I'm not going to read this article. I'll put both articles on the bottom and you guys can check it out and read it for yourself. But um, this is quite interesting. So, and I think in my own opinion, and this right here is a photo, I guess, of Yellowstone volcano erupting in the past. And I'm sure this was a time when they said it wasn't gonna happen and it happened. It says Yellowstone volcano, another California earthquake trigger will not trigger a Yellowstone eruption. The explosion's grisly aftermath saw 57 people die and molten ash spread for more than 1,000 miles. So I guess it's telling you what happened in this photo right here. Where they said it wasn't going to happen, it happened. And maybe I'm reading this wrong. It says Yellowstone's super volcano has erupted in three major occasions. And then it gives the information right here. So I'm going to put both of these articles on the bottom. And you guys can feedback and tell me what you think. But like I was about to say, in my own personal opinion, nothing is by coincidence. I think the energy the beliefs, the reaction or actions of people because of the fact that we are connected to nature, that we are connected to the unseen, that we're connected to the ethereal. Our actions, reactions, and the energy that emanates from us create situations that become out of our control. Because if we had control like we think we have control, then we would be able to prevent much of what has happened, much of the disaster, uh, the lives, the number of lives that were taken in past events that humans had no power, no control over. But yet, they're quick to jump in the throne seat of God and play God, thinking they have so much more knowledge than the Creator Himself. So much of what you see happening across the United States, across the globe, in my humble opinion, is a chain reaction of our actions and our lack of moral values. The Most High says, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. But he's given us a choice whether or not we want to receive the blessing or we're going to receive that curse. Unfortunately, people's minds are not set on the curse but that's set on the things that create or cause the curse. And then when you receive the aftermath of the curse, then you blame God for choices and actions that were your own. So when we find social media blocking the truth, people stopping their ears from hearing the truth, or people protesting the truth. They're sending out energy that's creating a chain reaction to their own destruction. Situations like we see in California, where California received back-to-back -back major earthquakes, not counting the number of tremors, the after-effect tremors not knowing that they could be preparing or the earth is preparing itself for the major earthquake 
that will create volcanic reactions that will not just affect Californians, but across the United States of America. Destruction is in motion. Judgment is in motion. And I'm, and I'm sure whenever things like this happen, you have uh, the religious folks or the religious fanatics that would always want to come and say, this is the judgment of God. And there's always been earthquakes. There's always been volcanoes. California is known for earthquakes. But nothing is by coincidence, especially when they're breaking records. So now when they receive that record-breaking earthquake that was set off a chain reaction to create more damage, sending out the death angel of destruction against those that do wicked deeds, then it would affect the earth, the evildoers, and God's judgment is set in motion, hoping that people would read the handwritings on the wall and repent. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe, share the video. Click on the donate link and support the channel. Until next time. I'm fearless.